Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Laurent Bukabza and today I'm going to present and perform for you the second movement of the Sonata number no. 20, opus 49, number no. 2 by Beethoven. This movement is a tempo diminuetto, is in G major. But in fact, this piece was a hit from his septet. So there are correlation and differences between the two movements. Go listen to the septet from Beethoven and I'm sure you'll enjoy that movement. So that movement is a, for once a real, real rondo. We have the first element. We call A. we talked about how Beethoven likes to go from one octave to the other like he did in the 18th sonata for example. We have a conclusion. So this is the end of A. Now start B. So as you can see there's lots of scales already and right hand two then goes to So the B section will be in D major, which is really close to G, that's the dominant. We'll have the connection, the bridge. That's gonna lead to the theme. And we can see all these two notes there. Beethoven plays here with chromaticism. And back to A. Which would be an exact replica of A. So we're gonna... And now we're gonna go to the fourth degree, C major, without any transition. So... I like this section. From that, all that strength is going to transform this into something more melodic. The chromaticism. But also, we're losing track of time. So we don't know where beats are anymore. Listen to this. And we're back to A, which would be an exact replica of A again. as a reflective moment but it's not going to stay sad for too long so we see we can see the little horse galloping once again here there are very very minimal amount of dynamic actually there's only two pianissimos written there are no dynamics, like in the first movement written, so we can do whatever we want. So we can finish. We can do that, or we can do. Or we can do. possible. You cannot say one version is better than the other. It's just an interpretation. Let's now listen to this movement without interruption.
enjoy this beautiful little movement I want to hear from you back and let me know the questions you might have listening to my presentation or my interpretation of this piece please leave those comments underneath in the comment section and I'll do videos specially to answer all of your questions please subscribe to my channel that we can reach 2,000 subscribers and I think you will enjoy the gift also you can follow me on all social media Facebook TikTok, Twitter LinkedIn Instagram or on my website that shows underneath www.laurentbookobsar.net All of the links are in the description below and I'll see you next week for the first movement of the Valstein Sonata. So now we're going back to the big 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 sonatas. Thank you very much looking forward to next week. Thank you. Bye bye now.